The 1960s was a time of growth and change for the hardware mutuals companies. With an evolving marketing strategy, hardware mutuals launched several campaigns, including unveiling the Sentry name and the image of Captain John Parker in 1962. In 1966, John Jonas assumed the title of Chief Executive Officer and President. Two years later, he was elected Chairman of the Board. Under Jonas's enthusiastic leadership, Sentry experienced vast expansion, leading to the construction of Sentry World Headquarters, or what is now known as Sentry Home Office. Sentry World Headquarters was designed to meet the needs of the people who would be working there. To do this, designers followed simple guidelines, keep it aesthetically warm, operationally efficient, and above all, responsive to people. Designers also used a fast track process during this time, which allowed construction to begin while they worked out the details as it was being built. By using this fast track process, Sentry World Headquarters was finished a year earlier than originally projected. The construction of Sentry World Headquarters required an immense amount of resources. By the time of its completion, Sentry World Headquarters contained 7,000 tons of steel, 174,000 tons of concrete, 11 and a half acres of carpeting, and cost a staggering $68 million. Over the 39 months of Sentry World Headquarters construction, an average of 450 construction workers per week were required to create the massive building. With the building complete, the only hurdle left was to transfer 1,200 employees to their new location without interrupting the company's productivity. By all accounts, the move was one of the smoothest the company could ask for. Over the 4th of July weekend in 1977, over 650 Century employees moved into the Century World Headquarters, followed by 550 employees during the following two weeks. As a building designed to serve the company and community for years, Century World Headquarters was equipped with the newest technologies and a number of facilities that established Century as a leader in both employee and community relations. Visitors to the new building were offered tours where they were taken through color-coded office areas, past the glass-walled computer room, into the community theater and restaurant, and taken for a ride on what was at the time one of the world's longest escalators. Five years after the completion of Century World Headquarters, Century World, a par 72, 6,951 yard public golf course opened. Work on the golf course began in March of 1981 and was completed in June of 1982. Built to major U.S. tournament standards and designed by world famous architect Robert Trent Jones Jr., Century World's famous flower hole is still considered one of the most beautiful holes in golf. 35 years after its completion, Century Home Office is now home to 1,700 employees, with another 570 employees calling the Stevens Point area home. Century is a proud supporter of local schools and nonprofits, and looks forward to future opportunities to grow and share with the Stevens Point area community.